of the kid's gun and struck terror in the hearts of squirts everywhere. used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving away under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Twice about risking his high if one know. Well, the path ain't exactly on the visitors no more. Security's all fired up. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for the noise and the time of the movie. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. down the path. Find time to find them. It's wise to toss those things plenty far away.
gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky. could have survived the calamity. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Trappers would have been impressed with how the kid handled the shingle. The trappers would have been impressed with how the kid handled the shingle. took everybody after all. The kid sees a plain, frozen faces all around. Folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. The kid sees him there again. 
Flash. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy. He didn't make it. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Grady Senior. Grady Junior. They didn't make it. But him. He survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survives as well. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. Ah, uh, come on, give the little tiger a break. The course, you remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. respect to the old world and 
earn it in kind. The valediction, just another one of my sketches, nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got.